this is Jeff at Quadricopter, and today we'll be talking about the use of the remote link for record start stop and also zoom on the Sony FS700 and the new, this is the new Sony, this is the 18 to 200 power zoom lens. On the bottom there's a little slide switch for uh, manual or servo. We have that in the servo position. There's also a speed, um, high, medium, and low. I have that in high right now. And also there's a little, this is how you would actually trigger the zoom. But now we can do that through a new firmware update through either the sidecar rocker that you get with the camera or what we're primarily interested in is the link port. So this is the remote port coming out of the back of the camera. We are using the GentLED, this is type 142 cable and we need two servo channels. So the channel with the three wires, ground, power, and signal is for our zoom control. I have that plugged into channel one. Channel one on the MX-20 is our elevator. So you can see on the servo display, minus 100, back to zero, plus 100. So that's what we're using for our zoom control. For the record start stop, that is the servo cable that just has one wire, just the signal. And we have that plugged into channel five. I have this switch up here mapped to channel five. And as you can see, once again, on the servo display, channel five minus 100 off plus 100 for on, minus 100 back to off. So on the Sony FS700, we're in um, standby. We'll hit the switch down. We're now recording. And once again, we'll click that off back into standby mode. For the zoom, once again, we're using channel one on the elevator and push the stick forward. We're now zooming in bring the stick back, we're now zooming out. Also on this 18 to 200, you can see how all the elements just start pushing out there. So we're now zooming in, zooming out. And also there is a menu in the camera for zoom control. You can have either fixed or variable. I have it in variable mode right now. So there's actually a difference between full stick and just a little bit around the center. So that is slow and that's fast. So you can um, kind of ramp in your zooming and get some nice smooth transitions. Um, also with the Sony FS700, I had to update the firmware to version two and I'll just uh, post that link to the update on the description at the bottom of this video. So you can go grab that. Um, the original stock firmware, um, did not work with this lens, you had to update it. Also, um, I talked to the Sony guys, the FS100 is not gonna support the remote link for the zoom. It'll still do the record start stop, but unfortunately, um, yeah, they said since it didn't have a rocker on the little sidecar port, it won't, uh, they're not gonna update it for power zoom, but who knows, we'll cross our fingers, maybe they'll change their minds. Um, anyway, um, this has been Jeff at Quadricopter, and we will see you soon.